So if someone is definitely emotional about a situation, this is someone who feels they should have tethered themselves to you because their emotions, their emotions are like waves. This is someone who is feeling shattered because they fail to ascend. Now this energy is having some type of emotional issues. <laughs> feels like a bubble cut. Someone feels like they can't get something right because they took a risk. This is deja vu energy of someone having a history of these issues, a history of problems that they failed to resolve or heal. I feel like this energy took a risk and shattered a connection and now they're in and out emotionally. I feel their emotions are unpredict unpredictable, but I feel this energy is also trying their best to listen to their intuition. I feel like this is someone who went to the extreme within a situation. They cut you off. <sighs> cut you off, cut you out, silence the connection through distance. Whatever this person did, I feel it made something final. For many of you, this energy simply pushed you away. This energy pushed you away in an effort to have something else, seek something new. So someone took a risk in the wrong direction. This is someone who took a risk in the wrong direction, being sneaky and dismissive. I feel this energy ignored you. When many of you pleaded with this energy to do the right thing, this energy took the easy way out. I feel this is someone who was doing things in a very sneaky manner. I feel like this energy blindsided you and initially this energy also blindsided themselves. Now this energy is searching for answers but going through justice. I feel justice is playing out in their life as they have made the wrong decision for the wrong reasons. I feel their adrenaline, their current environment is somewhat like a roller coaster. There's a lot of highs and a lot of lows and a lot of good and a lot of bad. But this energy is now thinking about the memories. In fact, I feel this energy is dwelling on the past. This energy is dwelling on the memories and realizing how chaotic they caused something to be. How they blindsided you with issues or problems and causing something to be stonewalled or frozen. I feel like this energy is not taking action towards a soulmate, someone who they have deep emotion for because they feel like they clown themselves by being in denial about a situation. I feel this energy was in a space of guarding their heart, refusing to be their highest self because they were wearing a mask. I feel this energy was wearing a mask when it comes to a twin flame energy and they were hoping that you would have reached out by now. But I feel for many of you, you already offered this energy an olive branch, but this energy was too in denial to accept it. This energy was not facing their reality. They just dismissed you. Now this energy is feeling humiliate, humiliated and ashamed for their choices. They're reflecting and going through a dark night of the soul. This energy is going through a dark night of the soul when it comes to influences, third parties, energies who only left them empty. This energy realizes moving away or causing silence within a connection only boxed them in, left them an empty shell because now they're fed up with wasting time. This is someone who is fed up with wasting time and wanting to be single, but I feel they're also affected by their arrogance and ego. Someone should have made better choices within a situation, especially when it, co it comes to influences or separating themselves from a soulmate, someone they know now was the one. This energy is feeling fed up. They wasted time dealing with a third party or a false influence and someone is now reflecting on that because now they feel like a clown they feel like they played themselves this is someone who is fuming with rage this is almost overwhelming energy where someone is feeling explosive emotionally this is why i'm saying this energy is feeling a, an emotion of waves things are going in and out crashing their in their emotions and their attachments is starting to be unpredictable, especially when it comes to their influences. Someone regrets not giving in to an offer with you. Someone realizes something with you was supposed to be long term, but I sense it was short term because of the influences or the darknesses they fell into. Now someone is dwelling on the memories. 
the bad and the good. And they know they clown themselves for ignoring or disregarding you. Someone knows they push something to the extreme by being blind to a situation. Someone was being blind to a situation when they should have tethered themselves to you. Now this energy is emotional about the distance, the broken energy, the sadness. Let's get some more energy here. Oh. Something became final because someone chose to be free. This energy is now watching from afar. Social media stalking. Someone is keeping their eye on you. Somewhat obsessed. Wanting to make this offer. Wanting to make some type of commitment. But this energy feels in so many ways they are not ready. They regret being consistent in their faults. Because now they feel something may be final. And you're not looking back. Someone feels like they shattered a connection with you that is now torn in two. All because they were sitting in their ego and indecisive on which way to go. Someone is now thinking about the choices that they made because it should have only been you. Someone was blinded to your energy, the energy between you and what they truly had with you. Now they're thinking about the commitment, the offer that you gave. Because whatever it is would have took this connection to the next level. This is someone who should have ascended, yet this energy stays stuck in some very unsatisfying ways. Someone who just got too comfortable. Too comfortable, and I feel whatever they did definitely surprised you. Someone's trying to come to terms with something. Trying to figure something out after all of the conflict. This is someone who is realizing they went too far. They went to the extreme and made some choices against you for no reason. Now they're reflecting on what they chose over you while also realizing they took a big loss, not protecting what they had with you. As it seems they may be done with this third party, but I feel this energy is not quite done with you. This energy is trying to come to terms with you making something final or them causing something to slow down or be final, all because of conflict and drama. I feel there's a lot of conflict and drama when it comes to a family situation because now this energy is feeling lost. This is runaway energy of someone who is empty, feeling invisible because they cut you off, they cut the energy of family off because of the drama someone was never satisfied. I feel there is now a lot of differences with reconciling. Someone knows that, that what they had with you was not compatible. Yet I feel someone immaturely took a risk on you. Someone immaturely took a risk, a gamble on a connection, a union, and now they're dealing with the pain. This energy is putting walls up because this energy is experiencing some excruciating pain. So this energy is going through a lot, feeling empty because they cut you off. They're feeling invisible to you. This energy feels like they've become someone you used to know. This energy did a lot of sneaky things by disregarding your energy or looking past you. But now they're regretting the fact that they ever left you behind or tried to. Synergy thinks about the union all the time. They think about the risk that they took or the fact that they were always wearing a poker face, not showing their feelings. This energy, they roll the dice, creating problems because they were thirsty for attention. I feel like this energy was overreacting within a situation, being petty, holding on to something you did or said. And many of you are reflecting on your choice of words as well. I, but I feel even though you regret some of the things you may have said, some things needed to be said. This is someone who is handling something with you very poorly, very immaturely. And I feel they're ha having a lot of pain because of it. There's a lot of sadness, an overwhelming energy of someone having grief. So I feel like this energy is not only having grief behind the situation or loss with you. There's also conflict in their choices. Someone is causing a lot of drama. 
a lot of drama connected to a family. This is creating the energy of someone feeling lost or abandoned. Someone regrets being reckless with a side piece or a third party energy. Someone regrets their current environment. I feel this is someone who has now been validated about someone's reckless behaviors when it comes to a third party energy or someone on the outside looking in. This energy feels like someone put a curse on them, a negative spell. So in so many ways, this energy feels like a third party has caused their demise or had a hand in leading them in the wrong direction. But whatever the case, I feel there's a lot of conflict when it comes to this energy and those they chose to trust. I feel this energy is now being illuminated to someone's jealousy or the actions that they did behind the scenes. There's a lot of petty energy here of someone starting rumors, being envious, and wanting to have revenge. Someone is illuminated to the fact that someone was trying to keep them stuck on purpose, plotting and trying to do things behind the scenes. This energy was trying to get even in some type of way. Even if that was with you, please take it out. It resonates with this energy, but this energy is now wanting to confess something. But they're feeling trapped because they know they shouldn't have done something that was truly forbidden. This energy did something from a very dark place out of lust. And whatever it is, this energy knows that whatever they did to you is close to unforgivable. I feel this energy was being very vindictive because they were triggered. But this energy is now realizing they should have held on to you. Someone is realizing they should have anchored themselves to you and they're still trying to hold it all together. But as I said before, this is someone who has a history of making problems within a love situation. This energy has a problem with giving in unconditionally. Now they're obsessed, but they're feeling like you're protecting your aura. For many of you, you're being shielded by your guardians. There's a divine intervention with someone who has lost their way. There's also a lot of talk, someone is spreading rumors, smearing someone's character or image. There's a lot of secrets as well. Someone still bottled up in some type of illusion, keeping things inside, not opening up. There's a lot of deception someone's trying to hide. Someone is keeping things in, not opening up because this illusion has a lot of secrets involved. And someone's just not sure that you would give in to this situation because it's so toxic. This energy's present energy is toxic. The present environment is toxic. Please take it how it resonates, but someone feels left behind. There's no contact, but someone is getting the signs. Someone is getting the signs to move your way or make something right. There's definitely repeated numbers or meanings to something that they need to see through. But if this energy stays in this energy of bottling their emotions up, yet still being obsessed, they will only make something final without lessons to be learned. I feel there will be an end to a cycle, regardless of how much someone's trying to hold on to a situation. I feel this energy had has done a lot of things, blaming and projecting, wanting you to feel some type of shame or guilt for the faded connection. However, the real reality is starting to hit. It's all starting to hit different when it comes to this energy, and they know they can no longer play these games. Um, but I feel this energy knows they're not ready yet. They're not ready to admit something to you. This energy is still reflecting, still trying to make sense of what they're going through or what they have been through. This energy seems like they're going through a, a lot of changes. I feel like there is a possible arguments or clashing that this energy is trying to resolve or look past. I feel these arguments are connected to the secrets that they're trying to keep away from you. I feel like this energy is trying to reflect, trying to make sense of their choices, but they're not coming up with anything that makes any sense to themselves to come your way or make some type of resolve with you. There's too much conflict and there's too many third parties or energies involved that are still leading them in the wrong direction. But I feel this energy is slowly waking up. This energy is slowly waking up when it comes to third party energies or those that they chose to trust. 
they're trying to protect their energy, but I feel there's a lot of unhealthy things going on around them. They're overwhelmed. Wow, this energy is overwhelmed with intense emotion. Not ready to face the connection because they're reminiscing about the past. This energy is reminiscing about the past and the fact that they were unfaithful and disloyal. And they're having a lot of remorse and regret about it. Wow. This energy has a lot of remorse and regret over their mistakes. Mistakes made in the relationship. And they're finding their inner truth by reflecting on the past. This is why this energy is slowly waking up to a situation that they have caused. This energy may also be in hermit mode, trying to resolve or understand some of their issues. This is why they're trying to distance themselves. Hmm. So it seems this energy is in hermit mode to block some challenges. Hmm. Blocks and challenges are in their way when it comes to a karmic contract. This is a runner chaser dynamic here. These are this is a situation where there's truly no foundation. Someone is using someone else for their resources or stability. This is someone who is very codependent, cool whether this is third party energy or theirs. But I feel this is also connected to some very toxic patterns and behaviors. This energy is feeling trapped. This energy feels like they're stuck in a loop. Stuck in a loop of massive distractions, delays, and detours. This is why they're not talking, they're not speaking. Someone's trying to understand their current reality because they're very doubtful. This energy is still in a space of denial and they're just trying to make some sense of what they're going through because they're confused, simply confused about their feelings and even what they're going through. I feel like this energy is going through a lot of massive changes. Someone is tired of the runner chaser dynamic. Someone's realizing you're not going to chase the connection, especially if they're tied to a karmic energy. I feel you're second best to no one. This energy is realizing the choices they made were impulsive, but they have yet to understand how to take it back. Someone's not seeing something from a clear space. I feel like they can't take back what they've done, but I feel they can possibly recover from it if they just tell the truth or acknowledge what they've done. Holy Spirit, what is the messages? I feel like someone needs to acknowledge something, but as I said before, this is someone who is now realizing something. Something is starting to hit different because something is no longer the same, and they're starting to realize that they will never meet another like you. This is someone who's trying to come to terms with that as they're slowly waking up to a truth. <sighs> wow. This is someone who is running from themselves as well as a connection because they're trying to heal. Doesn't really have the tools to do so. This energy feels like they're permanently trapped in a situation. They feel like they won't be able to speak about something, but I feel this energy has more power than they are perceiving. They have more power than they know. But I also feel this energy needs to step into that light to truly understand it. But as I said before, this is someone who is definitely slowly waking up to a situation. This is a period of stagnation. Someone is needing to understand something to truly get something right. But I also feel they're coming to terms with this has slowly caused them to wake up. Wake up and see the difference between what's real and what's fake. As they realize the easy route has no value. And it has no reward. This is why they're feeling trapped. This energy is feeling trapped as the illusion only made things comfortable in a place of misery. Hmm. Synergy knows there's a lot of trust issues between the two of you. They're overwhelmed, tired of suppressing what they're thinking, tired of suppressing what they're feeling, as they have always known their actions and behaviors created the problems that they're going through. Yet, they were never put in a position to truly care until now. This is someone who is realizing some things from a different space or, or a different perspective. They know they were unwilling to make 
any type of compromises, but I feel this energy is going through an awakening that is changing that perspective. This energy is str struggling, struggling to offer you what you deserve, what you need, because they chose a more comfortable route, a more comfortable situation that required less of them, but I feel this was only connected to their narcissistic tendencies that they're struggling to come out of. This energy is realizing the environment that they have chosen is only bringing out their bad side, their the worst in them. And they're trying to move on. They're trying to put something behind them, but it's not as easy as it, they thought it would be. This energy is trying to detach from a connection or a third party. But instead, in so many ways, I feel like they are just numbing their pain just to numb the issues. Someone is realizing the pain that they cause is now the pain that they're feeling right now. This is someone who is going through a lot of self-esteem issues and having obsessive thoughts. These obsessive thoughts are very negative and it's also blocking their heart chakra. I feel like this energy's heart chakra is being affected because they're soul searching. This energy needs to soul search to heal core wounds, heal things that have broken them, because as this energy is walking around broken, this energy is also bleeding on those who never cut them. This energy is in the space of putting out a fire, trying to disconnect from a situation, but as I said before, this is someone who needs to search their soul to heal what truly hurts them. This is someone who put on a mask to hide their true feelings. Now they're going through a spiritual change, a spiritual awakening, and they're having some really big tarot moments because of it. I feel these tarot moments is because this energy is battling inner demons. These inner demons are needing to be resolved, needing to be understood and put away. This energy is going through a dark night of the soul, and this is why they're unable to speak a truth because they're still trying to figure it out. This energy is unwilling to step out of a comfort zone and this is why they're having tower moments going through a dark night of the soul. But I also feel this is a massive wake up call for someone who has been lost for so long. I feel this is someone who is on a journey of discovery and awakening when it comes to karmic lessons, harsh influences, third parties or environments that doesn't mean them well. This is someone who is somewhat self-destructive. This is someone who has a lot of destructive patterns of keeping secrets from you. But I also feel this energy is capable of breaking a cycle. They're just going to have to use free will and intention to do so. But in so many ways, this is someone who needs more time, more space to grow. This is someone who needs time and space to grow within a situation where there has been a long term or a long history of toxic patterns. This is someone who has a long history of toxic patterns and behaviors and they're still stuck in a loop. This is why they're needing time to grow, needing space to understand. For some of you, this is someone who is hiding their true self. They're tired of it. This energy is overwhelmed, wanting to speak out, but something needs to be resolved before other things are taken care of or done. This is someone who is going through a lot, still numbing the pain, but I also feel something is about to be a huge wake-up call for someone who has been lost in a dark space for a very long time. Let's get a little bit more confirmation here from a, another deck. As I said before, this is someone who never really cared about the problems that they caused until now. This is someone who no longer wants to make these bad decisions. As I said before, this is someone who is reminiscing. Reminiscing on the past and also being enlightened by it. This is not the typical love story. And this energy is wanting to surrender to what they do not know. This is someone who feels like they're ready and willing to reconcile with you, but I feel this energy is still lurking in the shadows. This is someone who knows that the both of you should be in the same space, 
you are the yin to their yang, but I feel this is someone who ne needs to go through it to get through it, to reconcile with you. This is someone who is still bottling up their emotions because they're not quite sure why they took these choices against you, but this is also someone who is no longer wanting to make the bad choices. But these tower moments, these karmic lessons needed to be experienced for this energy to truly understand their purpose, which their purpose is with you. Many of you are in a space where you're not wanting or willing to make things right with this energy, but I also feel it is possibly blocking your blessings not to forgive, even if you have to forget. This is someone who is caught up in their emotions. Things are in and out. Someone is not clear on how to deal with what they're feeling, and they may be going through a love drought. There's no love received, and there's no love given for someone who has been stuck behind a false mask for so long. This energy is sitting in a pool or a puddle of self-pity, trying to figure it out. This is someone who feels like it's just too much to think about, but they also know the truth is the only thing that will set them free. So I feel this energy could be in a space where they're making adjustments, making adjust adjustments on this long road of recovery. Someone's trying to recover because they know what they had with you was their true path, and they're starting to realize it's, it's hard to say goodbye. Especially when they know your heart was pure. What you gave was always 1000% and now this energy is questioning everything and wondering if you'll ever see them the same. This is someone who is on the road to recovery and adjusting what they need to adjust, but I also feel there's a lot of scars and wounds that truly run deep. I feel this energy is going through a dark night of the soul to clear out or clean up what is overwhelming their spirit. This energy is coming out of this comfort zone slowly but surely. This is someone who is about to put, put the past behind them. And for many of you, they're never looking back. Someone is approaching the, the moment to reconcile with you because they know what they had with you was not ordinary. And can it, it cannot be duplicated. Someone knows without a doubt there will never be another like you. Now they're in a space where the, they know these secrets need to be unraveled or revealed. Yet I feel this energy is still in the space where they're working on it. Someone wants to bring you a truth even if it hurts. And they could be in a deep space of isolation, needing time alone, needing time to understand their choices so they can possibly get it right in the future. This is someone who is dealing with a lot of guilt. A lot of guilt when it comes to their past actions and their past behaviors, the things that they chose to say to you, because now they're struggling, hmm. struggling with fears and anxieties. I feel this energy is struggling to come to a conclusion to things. This is why things are taking so long. Someone's trying to understand their own behaviors or even a new path to take. But I also feel these are self-imposed limitations. Someone is struggling and they believe they can't do it and as long as they feel they can't, they won't make any progress when it comes to their recovery. But in so many ways, I feel this recovery is bound to happen. Someone just needs to get over these fears and anxieties to make a true imprint when it comes to you or even life. But I feel in so many ways change will come. Someone just has a long way to go. I feel change is coming when it comes to someone mastering karmic lessons. Someone will finally get it right, but right now it's just too complicated. Things are just too complicated and someone is going through karma. Karma is at work here as someone is going through deep spiritual awakening. I feel like this energy is going through a uh, deep spiritual awakening and I feel for many of you you should expect the impossible the unexpected when it comes to someone breaking through this karmic cycle I feel like this is someone who is hopelessly devoted to what they want or need from life even you they just want to heal the heartbreak but I sense in this moment they're still living in fear 
living in fear knowing that what they did to this connection may not ever be put in perspective or even forgiven but this energy is hoping that you will receive or even hear them out after what they've done yet I know they're starting to understand this energy in so many ways they're starting to understand the purpose of the journey through blood sweat and tears as the challenges they've encountered won't be easy to forget i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading